Hey everyone, what's up? This is gonna be like a little rolling stock update in my experience with my Texas trip. So, as you see here, uh, we have some more new freight cars. These are the ones I picked up at uh, a train store, which is uh, Papa Ben's Train Place. It's a, it's a pretty nice store, but it's just that they have like lots of end scale stuff. But, and they have. Not not a lot of HO scale, but these are because like they had like only the HO scale rolling stock they had were like a bunch of kit were like the used kits and stuff like Atherm Blue Box and like Roundhouse kits. And they in on their new release shelf they had some of the new Aston ready to roll rolling stock. So I picked up two of them. I picked up this TTX Gunderson boxcar, which is actually a really popular freight car, but this is in the old scheme. Because I know it's like the newer scheme, which was released not too, I think somewhere since last year, sold out so fast. So I was lucky I was able to get this one. So hopefully I will get more of these. And I also heard that uh, Walther's mainline will be making a 60 foot Gunderson boxcar too, because if you ever need those because they put those at a pretty neat price pretty like really cheap affordable prices so that should release sometime this summer so this is a really nice car I hope to get more of these for either maybe at or Walter's main line so yeah and the next freight car we have is this Briscoe Pullman Standard 4740 Hopper this is actually a really nice car because I noticed there's probably still a few of these Frisco covered hopper still left in this I mean like you know like ones that did not get painted into Burlington Northern and then maybe some to BNSF so I picked up this one it's a really nice car the, the paint job is really nice and you know and these are like one of the rarest covered hoppers you might find on the rails so I was lucky I got this one this could be perfect for my grain train. I'm gonna be, I'll be making a BNSF unit grain train. So, hopefully. Since I also got KCS as well, so we'll be doing KCS and BNSF at the same time. So, those are all the new rolling stock that I picked up on my trip to Texas at Papa Ben's train place. It's a, it was pretty good, pretty good experience. The, the staff there were really nice and all. So, yeah, it was a great time. So, okay, so now let's get on to some of the other rolling stock we have that's new. Right here, because I think you've seen this in the background, this is a Burlington Northern Pullman Standard 4740 Hopper. This is an Athern car. But, however, this one did not come in the, the pack, this, the current packaging. It came in, the, like, the older packaging. I actually been wanting one of these for forever now, but so we finally got one. These are actually getting, selling out really fast, so and they're getting very hard to find. It's a very nice car and perfect for my grain train. See ya. This one I did not purchase on my hobby store. I ordered this one off eBay, as well as on my next car. Is this one? This is an Atlas Trainman uh, Thrall 4750 Hopper, or you can call this like Pullman Standard 4750. Well, I think this is another car I'll be adding to my grain train or KCS because I'm gonna try and get more Pullman Standard Hoppers, like mostly like private owned company ones and all that. And my other and last. But not least, my other rolling stock is this one right here. This is a Canadian wheat board centrical hopper. This is a Walther's mainline. I actually really love these centrical hoppers so much, and I could not help myself with this one that I ordered online, along with the BN and the A and then the AEX hopper. But I couldn't help myself with this one because, as you know, I re I'm really love those Canadian hoppers. And this is a really nice car. I think Walters did a good job on this. Absolutely amazing. Really nice car. So, 
that's basically all the new rolling stock I have. That's new because this one and that and those are all ordered from eBay and those two I purchased at my hobby store from Texas on my Texas trip. So yeah, after all, my Texas trip was actually really good. I was lucky I got to find some neat places to rail fan. I hope you guys en really enjoyed my videos, a rail fanning trip. And yeah, it's not just rail fanning. I also did also some sightseeing and all that stuff besides like visiting the NASA Space Center in Houston and several museums and such, such like that. It was really fun. And it's really glad to be back home. So, yeah. I haven't done much to lay out lately. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.